We were, are we recording? Right? We're recording. Okay. So I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's planning board meeting in the village of Williamsville for May 6, 2024. Can you stand with me in honor of the flag? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Thank you very much. And can we do roll call, please? Yes. Roll call Colleen Liker. Yes. Wally Pacer. Here. Tom Petroselli. Here. Wes Stone. Here. David Vitka. Here. Kate Waterman Culpa. Here. And I will note that Jeff Hahn is absent. Uh, Jim Celeste is subbing. His liaison. <coughs> Chip Grieco present. Gary Palumbo from Amherst Planning present. Carol Beck, Building Zoning Court present. Thank you very much. And can I get a motion to approve the minutes from the April 1st, 2024 planning board meeting? Totally. Do I have a second? And any discussion? Corrections, additions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes six to zero. First, under old business tonight, we have log 2023 PB04 for 30 of those roadways. Oak Salon for Architectural Review. Is someone here to present? If you'd like to approach the dais and state your name. Okay, would you like to explain your project? Yes. Um, so previously, we did come in and uh, review for a has the grand money involved for two sides of the building. The big part of the elephant was doing all four sides. We were able to get the owner to commit to doing the other two sides. So here we are with an updated drawing showing all four sides of the building being renovated. Okay. Do you have um, samples of the um, stone signing? Do you like to grab it? Yeah. Go grab it. Sure. Okay, so do you want to explain the architectural yeah, Sure. So, um, as you mentioned, we previously presented uh, currently all the final siding, um, and we're doing stone veneer on the three feet and then wood siding on the top. Um, on the front, west elevation and north elevation, the extent of both so on. Um, the comments were that uh, we'd like to see the materials uh, continue around the entire building. Uh, for the owner's approval, um, we're continuing that three foot uh, base of the stone here around the entire building, including the building studios on the back corner, um, mm -hmm. as well as the wood siding around the entire perimeter. Uh, uh, we'll also be replacing one of the windows in the uh, west elevation, um, and then some additional brake metal trim that's going to be going, wrapping the uh, stone veneer um, as it wraps up in the corner along the so, Does anyone have any questions? I just did from this weekend, but I wasn't on the like, order. I was just jumping around at that point. Um, so, uh, there's two grants for this project. So, uh, Oak Salon received one grant from town funding, and Hudson uh, Lane received uh, as well. Um, her project just recently was finished. Um, so it's all brick, it's separate from the rest of the building. So as existing, the entire building is done in bound siding and the Heather Bellini was done in brick. Um, so she recently painted and had uh, done some painting and the equipment. Uh, so we chose not to address the Heather Bellini portion as the materials were already separated from the rest of the building. So I'd like the village to send um, the notice that they didn't come to the planning board for the um, the Bellini Studios portion of the property and the triggered um, I don't know how big it is. It's the first thing to check. I don't know size. either. It's not uh, not dimmed on here, so if, uh, I think uh, that needs to be investigated by like, enforcement. Or I think we've mentioned that yeah. in October. So yeah. if it's I, great, I if just it's like greater than two hundred square feet, it would have 
Sure, come here. I just like your response is whether this this board controls what we didn't receive a response. Okay, so back to this practice. Okay, so you have the stone, which yep. is the same as last time. Same as last time. And I don't believe last time we had the um, engineered product um, before us. That's the wrong? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, wait, we did. We did. We did. We did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is the color you want to use? Yeah, what's the cavern seal? Uh, colors are on the back. So I believe this product comes here. Okay. Yeah. I don't see the color in there. So I believe that the product comes with a smooth finish and a textured finish, and you're choosing to come to us with a textured finish. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I, so I did some investigation of this product. I mean, they sell it at Home Depot. And from the cut sheet supplied on Home Depot's web sheet for the product, um, I mean, a lot of times this is applied to sheds, like overwhelming of the over a thousand reviews this product is used on sheds. So it's, it's a little scary to me that that's going to be a village property's exterior plot. Um, just thinking that it's probably not the most durable product that could be replaced. I mean, like, replaced the uh, existing setting could be replaced with. I do appreciate the owner's intent to remove the existing vinyl from the building. Um, I think when you were here last, and I know just the contractor, um, um, I think it was recommended to look at a signage panel for this building as a way to enhance the architecture possibilities for this very, you know, Sure. Possibilities for this very, you know, plain facade. I mean, it's got colonial features, you know, applied to just a, a, a rectangular building right now. We've got some shutters that are meant to be architectural. We've got some entranceway work that, you know, is meant to be architectural as well. And we're kind of just replacing that with. Uh, with some simulated materials. Um, and we still just have like this rectangular little box. Um, I'm sorry, is it just here to turn the stone up on both, both ends? Is that, is that driven by some kind of element already? Or is it just to finish off the ends? I, I'm trying to figure out from a design standpoint and you know, look at the Rings. Like the cornering? Yeah. Both of them, like the wainscot goes and turns right. up on, mm -hmm. on right. it goes full height and it actually goes above the roof and turns right. up on, mm -hmm. on right. it goes full height and it actually goes above the roof line on the proposed north, but looks like it meets the roof line on the west. Yeah, the building has a slight area on the um, west elevation currently. Um, and then Actually, stepping that up so they delineate that entrance wise. So, there's a parking lot um, facing the north elevation currently. Um, so wrapping the corner to differentiate sense of entry. I guess to touch on the material topic as well. Um, for the county grant money, uh, they're only awarded a certain amount of grant money for limited uh, time or work um, that the owner, the building, big owners apply for. Um, so we're going to select the base on these. Uh, how much can we be done with the products? It's so like, I guess the comparison would be, you know, if we went with like a five or some that, or I guess I don't think this is not allowed in the window. Mm -hmm. uh, we're comparing that to like an engineered wood product. Engineered wood products likely going to have lots of the too. Um, so what was the intent of that you're accounting money? Was it to improve the facades? I mean, it's a main street facades grant, right? Yeah. So. So this, you're not a, you're not alone in being in the same quest for having limited funds. The county is like, here's a little bit, and I think it was meant to maybe start additional investment. And in some cases, that's not happening. So, like, we're left with here's part of a building with these very inexpensive materials. 
relatively inexpensive, right? They're expensive for a business owner for sure, but relatively inexpensive materials that we don't want to see. I don't want to see in the village. You know, it's it's faux applied stone. It's faux engineered wood made out of particle board. That it, it's it's just it's worrisome to me that we're going to do this these treatments on these buildings and then we're going to be left with these buildings again you know we're just we we're, dis, we're dissatisfied with how they look now according to the design standards and then I'm, I'm going to be left with the taste of my mouth where it's still i'm still dissatisfied with the way these buildings are. but and i know you only have forty thousand mm dollars -hmm. so like you know you only have forty thousand mm dollars -hmm. so like you know is there some kind of medium here I, i'm looking at what was submitted versus this and i'm seeing I, if I can explain that, I prepared the PowerPoint today based on the files I had. I didn't have this digitally. Okay. Um, just so do you have the uh, renderings on the PDF one at all? No. Okay. I didn't send it. Yes, this is what I had from October. Okay. The, right. the plans in front of you are what the applicant is asking for. Um, I did not uh, have the new plans. So we're digitally. reinstalling some items. That's what that. That's what the missing piece was. We're yeah. reinstalling some of the colonial features that were on this box build. You didn't want to you want to leave the entrance way. You wanted to look the same as this. Yeah. So it really was not uh, the entrance way and the shutters were. I'm not sure we told you to do anything. <laughs> we were circling with this one. Um, and I guess the cover of the topic of the county money, if it, actually, this is the only project in all of the county one where they allow the section to do the entire building. Mm -hmm. um, so typically, it's just the front and south. That's the only thing they want to cover. Uh, we were able to go to the county petition that this project is kind of a will happen if we do the whole building or it won't happen. And they were willing to accept the entire building being done, but that was kind of just this project case. Um, but typically, what they're doing is this type of situation where we're redoing the front facade, especially in situations you know, we have IP and final uh, siding. It's definitely going to need to be replaced. Uh, doesn't look great right now. Things like that, broken windows, damaged doors, right. things like that. That's kind of what the original target of the county money is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the projects I'm working on, that's what we're doing. Front facade replacement, sometimes siding replacement, but a lot of windows, doors, maybe some signage or lighting potentially. Mm -hmm. and it depends on the topic. So I mean, part of my problem is this this product, the um, the engineered. Project, uh, I'm not even going to call it, I don't even know what it is, but it has a five year limited growing warranty. I mean, they could have stuck anything else on there to say this thing is not lasting. Uh, so that, that's a little scary to me um, because at least the vinyl siding will stay in a building or in a landfill forever. So right. it's like, this, this material, I'm not sure. It, it may look good for a year or two, but I'm really afraid of what it's going to look like in a couple of years because it doesn't. Although you know, people say it looks great on my shed, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to hold up, and especially if you're now doing all four sides and the light and you have to treat this as one building plus the way it's supposed to be treated. Um, so I, I, I see that it's not, it's not perfect, but I wonder here if this is one of those instances where you know, you could, where this would be an improvement at least for a while um, to what's already there. It's not a very attractive looking building as it is. Um, how long will it last there? You know, for all I know, some and I do want to point out this is not actually on Main Street. I think it, it's off Main Street, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and so, so when, I, I'm not suggesting that we want to have shabby buildings by any means, but I'm, I'm wondering if um, this is all they can do 
and if we couldn't stand through this or stand through this or nothing, would this be better? Well, I, would, I sort of wondered to go to that. Um, what alternate? Let's just say, but not even talk about some, but talk about exciting stuff. What kind of ultimate product? So, nothing we allow. I mean, you know, I mean, it's very cost driven right now. There's no exciting, obviously, because a lot of that will be. I would say, like, in terms of longevity, if you're trying to eat this in anything that would, it's, it's going to be. Quarter for quarter, essentially, at that point. But I will say the, vine, the existing vinyl side, we think of vinyl side in estimated lifetime of 10 years. I have no idea how long it's been up here, but it's probably close to the end of its lifetime. Yeah, so it's probably exceeded its lifetime at this point. To where, you know, if this is five year warranty, assuming it's even though it's likely better than vinyl, but seeing it's the same 10 year lifespan. Now we put it at least the next 10 years. Down the line, where you know, if there is more funding, um, because the issue we're back money only has it available for a certain time. Mm -hmm. So, if we don't move forward with it soon, we're at risk of no work being done. Mm -hmm. um, so, all the, all the 40,000 goes away, and the county loses grant or no problem. So, you showed us the siding and texture. But are you using texture? Black. Texture. Well, actually, this is for the. Have you actually used that product? Is that last year? You don't have any. And what did you put? Uh, it was a barber shop. If I eight inch, six inch tall, yeah. half inch thick, maybe like that. Yes. It has to be. Okay. You see the color of the flag around the bottom. Yeah, you see all the seams when you put them one on the other. The top. So, seal the thing. Yes. Yeah. You use their pop. You use their pop. Their pop. Right. I don't see no people down. I don't see no people down. There's no effort to do like a signboard, increase in some kind of bonus or, or something like that it's, instead of some of the other treatments that were going to be proposed. So, yeah, it's primarily budget concerns. Mm -hmm. Go beyond what we're in. This is the old side of it. Yeah. With this design because the material has already been purchased. This portion of the stone is purchased. Right. Um, some kind of cardboard, sign it for, you know, new wall paneling at the bottom or something like that. So it's, it's the stone that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. but last, the last time we were going to say that, um, she did have stone then. They were stacking through the floor, but they don't use it. Which is that a precedent? I think so. I think so. Because other people are going to want to use these materials. It's very scary to me. So is, the, is this stone? Um, of the budget, material budget, is it a 25% of the budget? Is it percent of the budget? Yeah. Yeah. Did she purchase enough? Yes, we have enough to do the two side that originally, the 